On the 25th of March 2022, I convicted into Tuko Shorba of the murder of Segafatso Kule. I found that Mr. Shorba's crime was premeditated. On, to, on the 29th of July 2022, I sentenced Mr. Shorba to life imprisonment. Mr. Shorba now seeks leave to appeal against his conviction and against the sentence that I imposed. The primary question before me is whether there is a reasonable prospect that I was materially mistaken either in putting together the evidence that led to the conclusion I reached, or in applying the law to that evidence. Only the prospect of a mistake of that nature would ground prospects of success on appeal. But on the material before me, I cannot conclude that Mr. Shorba's prospects of success rise even to the remote. In those circumstances, there is no sufficiently compelling reason to grant leave to appeal. The application for leave to appeal against both conviction and sentence is refused. I hand down the judgment. Yeah, what Shoba is really doing is just the kicks of a dying horse because he knows very well that he did orchestrate the, this whole thing. He knows that he planned to kill Tseo for whatever reason, I don't know. So he's just trying maybe to get a lesser sentence. I mean, life imprisonment, I would also do that. I will try my luck. Yeah, because really, as a family, we think he was supposed to get double. But that baby was a healthy baby. Doctors confirmed that. So it was just one month then be delivered into this world. So he he actually killed two people. He was supposed to. He robbed a, a little a Kamanu, her life. She, he really did that. I think this guy is evil. Shoba is evil. Can he, wherever he is, let this thing lie? He knows that he, he, he killed our daughter.